For this video, we're going to be discussing factoring by greatest common factor. So first off, we need to describe what is the greatest common factor. So the greatest common factor is the biggest number that all numbers you're looking at can be divided by. So for example, if I looked at say 24 and 32, and I listed out their factors, 24 is 1 times 24, is 2 times 12, is 3 times 8, and it's 4 times 6. 32 is 1 times 32, 2 times 16, 3 doesn't go into it, 4 times 8, and that's it. So if I found the GCF of those two things, it's just the biggest number that shows up on both lists, which in this case is 8. If I threw some variables in there, like if I had 16x to the fifth and say 28x to the third, I'm trying to find the GCF of those. Well, first I would start with 16 and 28. 16 is 1 times 16, 2 times 8, and 4 times 4. 28 is 1 times 28, 2 times 14, and 4 times 7. Biggest perfect square that goes into both of those is 4. And then for our variables, it works like this. They both have an x, so it's going to have an x. And then you just take whatever the smaller of your exponents is. Because x cubed goes into x to the fifth, but x to the fifth doesn't go into x cubed. So my GCF here is 4x cubed. Now, if I want to factor by GCF, factoring means to take that GCF and pull it out of our polynomial. So there's three steps. The first is to find the GCF of all of your terms. Then you're going to divide each of your terms by your GCF. Then you're going to put your result inside of some parentheses and move your GCF to the outside. We're not actually getting rid of our GCF. We're just like pulling it out. So let's start by looking at example one here. First steps to find our GCF. So I've got negative 30, negative 90, and 70. We only use, ever use a negative number for GCF if all of our numbers are negative. So because I have a positive, my GCF is going to be positive. 30, 90, and 70. Well, they all end in 0, which is a good hint that my GCF of those three numbers is 10. And then I need to ask myself, should I have an x in my GCF? I've got x squared here x, and then 70, but no x. Because this last one doesn't have an x, my GCF cannot have an x. So my GCF is just 10. So I'm going to divide all of these things by 10. So negative 30 divided by 10 is negative 3. Nothing happens to x squared. Negative 90 divided by 10 is negative 9. Nothing happens to x. And 70 divided by 10 is 7. And then for my last step, I put these inside some parentheses, and I take my GCF, and it goes on the outside, and that's my answer. 10 times negative 3x squared minus 9x plus 7. Let's take a look at another example. So here in example 2, I've got this expression. I'm going to start by finding my GCF. So I've got 48, 60, negative 30, and negative 12. The GCF of those, I'm not going to write out all their factors, the GCF of those four things is 6. These all have a k, so I know I'm going to have a k in my GCF, and I just take whatever my smallest exponent is, so in this case, 3, k cubed. So I'm going to divide all of these things by 6k cubed. All right, so let's work this out. 48 divided by 6 is 8 k to the 7th divided by k to the 3rd, remember we subtract, so I get k to the 4th, plus 60 divided by 6 is 10, k to the 5th divided by k cubed is k squared, minus 30 divided by 6 is 5, k to the 4th divided by k cubed is just k, and then minus 12 divided by 6 is 2, my k cubes cancel. Here's my result, put it inside of some parentheses, put my GCF on the outside, and I've got my answer. One more example to look at. 
So one thing you might notice that's different in this example is that I have two variables instead of one. That doesn't really matter. It still works the same way. So start by finding our GCF. So I've got 4, 8, and 24. Well, the GCF of 4, 8, and 24 is 4. They all have an A, so my GCF is going to have an A. And my smallest exponent for A is 3. They all have a B, so my GCF is going to have a B. And my smallest exponent is 1, or not having an exponent. So my GCF is 4A cubed B. So I'm just going to go ahead and now divide all of these things by 4A cubed B. Let's see what I get. First term, the 4s cancel. A to the 6th divided by A cubed is A cubed. B squared divided by B is B minus. 8 divided by 4 is 2. A to the 4th divided by A cubed is A. B's cancel. And then on my last one here, 24 divided by 4 is 6. A cubed over A cubed cancels. B over B cancels. So it's just 6. Put that in parentheses. Put my GCF on the outside. And I'm done. So, like always, I'm going to leave you with a try it problem. Oh, this has a little typo on it. This should be 7p cubed plus 21p squared, and then instead of an equal sign there, that should be minus 21p. So go ahead and give that one a try and see how you do.